What's up guys, I'm Ira Rochelle and this is The End Times. Hell is the final destination of those who refuse to bow their knee before Jesus while on this earth. Hell is described as several different things such as the lake of fire, a place of outer darkness, eternal destruction, and the second death. But for this video, let's focus on the second death. Revelation chapter 20 verse 14 says, Then death and Hades were thrown into the lake of fire. This is the second death. The lake of fire. I want you to understand that every human that is thrown into hell has died first. Okay, let's back up a bit. People are thrown into hell after the white throne judgment. Revelation chapter 20 verse 11 through 15 says, Then I saw a great white throne and him who was seated on it. From his presence earth and sky fled away and no place was found for them. And I saw the dead, great and small, standing before the throne and books were opened. Then another book was opened, which is the book of life and the dead were judged by what was written in the books according to what they had done and the sea gave up the dead who were in it death and hades gave up the dead who were in them and they were judged each of them according to what they had done then death and hades were thrown into the lake of fire this is the second death the lake of fire and if anyone's name was not found written in the book of life he was thrown into the lake of fire I want you to understand that this verse is describing Jesus judging all of the dead, both great and small. There's no human that goes into hell alive. This is why hell is referred to as the second death. Now this also makes sense why hell has no power over the saints. Revelation chapter 20 verse 6 says, Blessed and holy is the one who shares in the first resurrection. Over such the second death has no power, but they will be priests of God and of Christ, and they will reign with him for a thousand years. The reason the second death has no power over the saints is because after the rapture, we can no longer die. 1 Corinthians chapter 15 verse 35 through 55 says, But someone will ask, How are the dead raised? With what kind of body do they come? You foolish person, what you sow does not come to life unless it dies. And what you sow is not the body that is to be, but a bare kernel, perhaps of wheat, or of some other grain, but God gives it a body as he has chosen, and each kind of seed as its own body. For not all flesh is the same, but there is one kind for humans, another for animals, another for birds, and another for fish. There are heavenly bodies and earthly bodies, but the glory of the heavenly is of one kind, and the glory of the earthly is of another. There is one glory of the sun and another glory of the moon and another glory of the stars for stars differ from star in glory so is it with the resurrection of the dead what is sown is perishable what is raised is imperishable it is sown in dishonor it is raised in glory it is sown in weakness it is raised in power it is sown a natural body it is raised a spiritual body if there is a natural body there is a spiritual body thus it is written the first man adam became a living being the last Adam became a life-giving spirit, but it is not the spiritual that is first, but the natural, and then the spiritual. The first man was from the earth, a man of dust. The second man is from heaven. As was the man of dust, so also are those who are of the dust. And as is the man of heaven, so also are those who are of heaven. Just as we have borne the image of the man of dust, we will also bear the image of the man of heaven. I tell you this, brothers, flesh and blood cannot inherit the kingdom of God, nor does the perishable inherit to the imperishable. Behold, I tell you a mystery. We shall not all sleep, but we shall all be changed in a moment in the twinkling of an eye at the last trumpet, for the trumpet will sound and the dead will be raised imperishable, and we shall be changed. For this perishable body must put on the imperishable, and this mortal body must put on immortality. When the perishable puts on the imperishable, and the mortal puts on immortality, mortality, then shall come to pass the saying that is written, Death is swallowed up in victory. O death, where is your victory? O death, where is your sting? When we are caught up to Jesus in the air at the blasting of that seventh and final trumpet, our physical earthly body will perish and we will be given new perfect imperishable bodies that cannot die. This is why the second death has no power over the saints. Now if you're like me, you're wondering why it never says that Satan was killed and thrown into hell. If you're not, 
Here's the train of thought. Matthew chapter 25 verse 41 tells us that hell wasn't created for mankind, but for Satan and his angels. Hell is also referred to as the second death, as we just read in Revelation chapter 20 verse 14. So if this is the second death and it was created for Satan and his angels, wouldn't that mean that they had to die before they were thrown into hell? So let's dig a little deeper for a minute. Genesis chapter 3 records the fall of Adam and Eve. Their sin was eating the forbidden fruit, and their punishment was death. It wasn't an immediate physical death. It was an immediate spiritual death. This is why Satan didn't technically lie when he told Eve she wouldn't die but become wise like God, recorded in Genesis chapter 3 verse 4 through 5. They then awoke, if you will, the spirit of death, and Adam died over 900 years later. Now this could also be the reason that hell is called the second death. We were all once dead in our trespasses. Ephesians chapter 2 verse 1 through 3 says, And you were dead in the trespasses and sins in which you once walked, following the course of this world, following the prince of the power of the air, the spirit that is now at work in the sons of disobedience, among whom we all once lived in the passions of our flesh, carrying out the desires of the body and the mind, and were by nature children of wrath, like the rest of mankind. Sin causes death. Romans chapter 6, 23. For the wages of sin is death, but the free gift of God is eternal life in Christ Jesus our Lord. Now with that said, we can understand how this connects to Satan and his angels. Revelation chapter 12, verse 7 through 9. Now war arose in heaven, Michael and his angels fighting against the dragon. And the dragon and his angels fought back, but he was defeated and there was no longer any place for them in heaven. And the great dragon was thrown down, that ancient serpent who was called the devil and Satan, the deceiver of the whole world. He was thrown down to the earth and his angels were thrown down with him. Satan and his angels were thrown down from heaven because there was no longer any place for them in heaven as verse 8 tells us. We can now understand that a new place was prepared for them, according to Jesus in Matthew 25 verse 41. If we take into consideration that sin causes death and Satan and his angels no longer have a place in heaven, and hell was created for them as an eternal punishment, on the day they were thrown down, they spiritually died, just as Adam and Eve did on the day they ate of the forbidden fruit. Now while you guys think about that, let's sum it all up real quick. Hell or the lake of fire is referred to as the second death because every human who will be thrown into hell has died first. Therefore, it's called the second death because it is like dying again, but this time for all eternity. This is why the second death has no power over the saints of God because when we die to this body, we inherit new, imperishable, perfect, sinless bodies that will never die again. It is also called the second death because all who are thrown into hell have spiritually died because of sin. Hell was created for Satan and his angels because there was no longer place for them in heaven. Therefore, we can understand that Satan and his angels spiritually died the day they were thrown from heaven, just as Adam and Eve spiritually died the day they ate of the forbidden fruit. I also want to bring to your attention that this is the second death because even death and the realm of the dead, Hades, is thrown into the second death. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you did, please feel free to like, comment, share, and subscribe to our channel. And until next time, God bless.